today's video, we are going to the mountain! Yep, that's right people, we have made it to the Cameron Highlands. It is absolutely amazing up here. The weather is so much cooler in comparison to Kuala Lumpur. A quick deck check and it's 21 degrees and it actually feels like 21 degrees versus the 36, 37 degrees that we've been experiencing all the way down in KL. And you know what? Since the first time, like in March, April, when we first started traveling, my hoodie is out. You know, we're wearing nice warm clothing. We've been on the road since March, starting to miss home quite a lot recently. Home for us is the UK. So the Cameron Highlands is actually a perfect stop for us because not only is the weather a bit like the UK, but also there's a lot of British influence here. So we're really excited to check all the different places out here that is going to give us a bit of that home nostalgia. Let's go and check Cameron Highlands out. So to kick things off guys, we need to refuel and we have made our way to one of the top rated restaurants. It's called the English Coffee House, located within the Smurf Hotel. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. So what takes the longest? Ella. Yeah, you take the longest, you, yes yeah. you do. So guys, we finished with the food and I've got to say, it was all right. Probably not the best food I've ever had. But let me tell you one thing, the next place that we've arrived to, I'm really excited about. So here we are at one of the two famous tea plantations in Cameron Highlands. It actually says at the front, Cameron Valley Tea Plantation. So let's go and check this place out because it is really busy. So when you come to this plantation, what you've got to do is buy a wristband to access the main area of the plantation. There is just a tea shop here where you can buy some tea, some scones, maybe some cakes. But we want to actually go and walk in the plantation. So let's go and buy a wristband, see how much it is and uh, see what this plantation is all about. So guys, we've got our tickets and wristbands now. That was three ringgits each, six ringgits in total. And we are now entering the plantation. It's a bit slippery, so just watch your step, mind the gap. Mind the gap. And just make sure you stay in places. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's laughing at me. And make sure you stay in places where you're allowed to walk. That's right guys, no visit to Cameron Highlands is complete without coming to one of the many tea plantations here. And I have to say, this place is absolutely epic Beautiful. just look at this man this is what you call nature wow absolutely gorgeous honey hey look at those crazy guys over there yeah how do you uh, excuse me sir i don't think you're allowed to park there okay so a few facts about this place the cameron highlands was actually founded by a british colonialist called Sir William Cameron. Not David Cameron! <laughs> and the interesting thing about this place is that it's all modelled around a British village. And you know when you're walking around and you're having a look at this place, you can actually feel that there's loads of tea shops here and there's loads of places where you can see old Tudor houses. So that makes this place really, really interesting and gives it that kind of quintessential British vibe. Oh, and guess what guys? Just like the UK, it's raining! <laughs> But guys, honestly, I understand now why this place, specifically in the Cameron Highland, is so suitable for tea plantations. Because of the higher elevation, it just makes the soil more fertile, which obviously makes sense why they set up camp here. You know, one of the main issues that we've found since we've been traveling in all the hot places is we have a very limited window to actually go out. We can't go outside in the heat between like 12 till about 4 is it usually because it's yeah. just way too hot for Zakaria and coming up to the Cameron Highlands you know it's been perfect because we literally got up in the morning we had some breakfast popped out and there's no kind of limitation to when we need to go back and all that kind of stuff so if you're a family <laughs> and you want to basically have a nice whole day out and you're in Malaysia 
make your way definitely to the Cameron Highlands and check this tea plantation out because it is amazing. Guys, on that note, I'm parched. So, the only one thing you do here on Cameron Islands. Put the kettle on, love. <laughs> Afternoon tea. Woohoo, let's go. So guys, we've made it here to the Cameron Highland Resort at the Jim Thompson Tea Room. So we've got here a selection of pastries, sandwiches, teas, scones, you name it guys. This is the best place for afternoon tea, so we've heard. So we're going to give it a bath. Oh, thank you so much. Our afternoon tea has arrived. Oh and my god, my tea is cute. It smells divine. Thank it does. <laughs> yeah. Those scones, or scones as some people call it, scones. just smell absolutely <laughs> delicious. There's some strawberries with some chocolate. Like, I mean, come on, what is that all about? Then you've got a sort assortment of pastries and then proper afternoon yeah, tea style yeah, yeah. finger sandwiches well deserved afternoon tea after walking around in that tea plantation let's enjoy you like it i like it like boy <laughs> yeah he likes, he likes it. it oh my god that is one of the juiciest yeah. freshest strawberries i've ever had in my life let's try this gone and what we're going to do is we're going to do the proper english way we're going to cut in half put some jam on Right, bit of clotted cream there. Ooh, oh, that is fresh yeah, clotted that. cream. You know, I'm gonna do a little bit of a generous one, I think. Look at that, look at that. Right, bismillah. I'm back in England. It's a Saturday afternoon at home. Mmm, that is actually a good scone. It's soft, warm, and that clotted cream and jam. Oh man, this is, this is good. And we are doing a proper British thing and we're having a game of snooker, not pool, because that's US. Snooker, bro. Don't mess around. Ronnie will solve my sister over here. Go on, Fambos. And that's how we do it, that's how we do it, that's how we do it. You hit the brow, you yeah. meant to hit the brow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. You ready, lads? Ronnie will solve my sister over here. Yay! <laughs> So that afternoon tea was really, really nice. And to top things off, we had a little cheeky game of snooker as well. Obviously, Nadia is much better snooker player than me, so she cleared the table, but it was really, really good. So I definitely recommend coming to the Cameron's Highland Resort here for afternoon tea because the hotel is absolutely beautiful. It, it kind of feels like you're in a little gastro pub in the countryside of the UK where they've got you know a small little piano there little record player and just the decor with inside the hotel is got that proper British feel so from me and Nadia I think we really really enjoy this afternoon tea so it cost 130 ringgit for a couple's afternoon tea and you got quite a few bits and bobs it doesn't fill you up but it's not meant to it's just a nice kind of light snack before we have dinner tonight So we're at the Bo Tea Plantation and we arrived here quite early. By the time we got here, it was time for Zakaria's nap, so he had a nice long sleep in the car. So we were absolutely starving. I walked over to the tea centre, which is kind of the main attraction here. It's a really nice place where you can oversee the rice fields. But the queue was absolutely massive. It took me an hour to get the food. So bear that in mind when you come here. It is a lovely tea centre. The food is absolutely delicious, I have to say. And we were so hungry, we literally just dug in. I'm feeling a bit satisfied now. I had a look outside and the views of the tea plantation are really, really amazing. Much better than the one that we went to the other day, I personally would say, but it's just really, really busy here. They've also got a gift shop here where you can buy some teas to take away with your home and what looks like a nice little ice cream shop, so we might check that out. We do have one of their amazing looking cakes here. Are we going to be naughty twice or are we going to be naughty once? I don't know. And one thing I like about this one as well, it feels like, as Erfan was saying, as you drive through, it's like you're driving through the actual tea plantations. You feel like proper right in the thick of it all. I think it's definitely worth checking them both out because they both are very different. Both tea plantation, obviously, is one of the most popular ones.
We hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's definitely worth checking out both tea plantations here in the Cameron Highlands. And I have to say the afternoon tea was absolutely delicious. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when we upload our next video because we're going to take you on one of the most scenic hikes here in the Cameron Highlands. Follow your visions and we'll see you on the next one.